I would love you now to join me just on another little teaching. And, and to me, teachings are about our everyday life. You know, about us living our everyday life, no matter, you know, what's going on. And I, I know at times our life can be so topsy -thurble. Um We could be extremely stressed, extremely worried. Um, but even during those times, we have to let, how would I say, we have to allow hope in. You know, we, we have to pray. We have to believe that we are not just a human being, but we are a spiritual being as well. And I can assure you, you are a spiritual being as well, even if you don't believe. Um, and you have a guardian angel right there with you. That's there to to help you every day to help to give you guidance but it can't make up your mind for you 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 have the free will you have to kind of say to yourself yes i will get out of the bed yes today i will go to the shops or yes today i will go to work and do my utmost best in work but i'm going to enjoy it as well and no matter what stress it gives me, I'm going to smile. I'm going to bring hope into my job, hope into my life. And I think, again, we find it very hard to bring hope with us. I think we should do our best to carry it. Sometimes I talk about the stepping stones in different ways. You know, I often say, God has these stepping stones in front of me. And if I see myself going straight ahead, I will just go straight ahead. But if God turns those stepping stones left or right, I just go in that direction. I no longer think about what I saw straight ahead. I'm no longer, I don't be disappointed or, or feel, oh, have I, you know, wasted all of that time because there is so much hope in life. Our journey in life is full of so many positive things and good things, but we find it so hard to, what would I say, to see all of those good things. We kind of always focus on the negative. But I would love you to imagine or to draw stepping stones, you know, on a piece of paper and write, you, you can make that stepping so, stone as big as you want. I would always say, don't make it small, make it big. And I would always say to you, the first word you put into the stepping stone is hope. and love. And then I would say to you, whatever you feel is, what would you say, negative in your life, put it in there as well. But remember you have hope in there and you have love. And tell yourself, you're going to step to the next stepping stone with hope and love. And what was negative, you're going to let go. It's okay. And it's always okay. And your guardian angel is always doing its best to guide you, even brings other people into your life, sometimes even a stranger, and they say something to you. And I think it's important for us to listen to what others say. But don't listen to the negative because you don't need the negative in your life. You need that hope. 
you need to take the next stepping stone and leave the negative behind, even in work. You know, if there's, what would you say, you're finding work stressful, have that stepping stone with the big word hope and love and have in the sense that you are going to enjoy work no matter how stressful it is and watch that stress change. Watch it change into positive. Now it may change slowly depending on how all those other people in your job are. But if you're bringing hope in and love into your job, everyone changes. And to me, that is something absolutely wonderful. We have to bring hope. So I would love you to, you know, and I know lots of people use the stepping stones now. I I have heard back where they're using it in even in schools. You know, it's it's been passed on through different organizations. But use your stepping stones in whatever way. Remember, you can step onto that stone and you can stay there as long as you want. But remember, you don't have to either. But the important thing is that you always bring hope with you and love when you go to the next stepping stone. And you don't want to bring negativity or hate or anger with you. They're all the things that you have to let go They're all of the things that block you from seeing the blessings you have in your life. And maybe on those stepping stones every day, you could write in something good you could do. Whether it is, you know, you're just helping someone out in work or whether it is a customer comes into the shop and you're real nice to them, you're real helpful to them. Remember, you don't know how much you have uplifted them by your kindness. And that's giving hope. That's what hope is, is kindness. It's reaching out a hand and helping someone to stand up again. And we can do that in so many different ways. I always have to smile where... God has people crisscrossing in our lives all the time. You know, even when you're out shopping or you're, you know, you're going to a a football match, you know, it could be your little bit of kindness that, that you show there that gives someone else hope. Maybe someone that was feeling so down in themselves that, They weren't really enjoying the match. They were just going in the hope that maybe it would lift them up. You know, or they were going to please somebody else but didn't want to be there. And your little act of kindness is something they noticed. You know, whether it was, you know, you you moved over to let them sit or, or you said, oh, sure, you can sit here. You know, Sometimes it can be the tiniest thing or the smile or, or or you talk to them for a moment and your words touch them. Your words gave them hope. So if there's anything you can do every day, if at all possible, an act of kindness, an act of hope, And as I'm always saying to somebody, it could be opening the door for someone. It could be just giving them a smile. It it could be saying hello. You know, um, like many a time I've been in a a queue in a supermarket or or in a shop and and someone finds, you know, they're, they're short, you know, a couple of pence. I always remember this young woman was short five cent, you know, to pay. And if she couldn't pay, she had to give back something that she she really needed. 
And, you know, if you have the five cents to spare, give it. Just just say, here, here's the five cents. Go, you, you have it to pay for all of your groceries. Go, go ahead, or whatever the person was buying. Um, that is such an act of kindness as well. And I always say acts of kindness, acts of hope. You know, when one person does it, it kind of has a knock-on effect. So maybe write those stepping stones and, you know, for your day. And maybe then write another stepping stone beside it when you have done an act of kindness that day. So that's just a little bit of exercise as well. And again, these exercises, don't be lazy about them because they're every day, every day's life. You know, you you need to, well, what's that word? I'm no good for words. Well, you need to put them into your life every day. That they become you know, the most natural thing that you do and you don't have to even think about it. And you grow spiritually in such a way that it becomes so natural to you. It starts to open your eyes. You know, you you start to see kindness yourself. You start to see that radiant light of the world. You know, your your love, your soul. I know in the meditation I said the heart of your soul, you know, that love comes forth and, and you become the most incredible person you ever could come, no matter whether you're a street sweeper or a painter or you work in a shop or a supermarket. Have that smile on your face. Be as helpful as you can. Be kind. Be gentle. Show that empathy. Show that compassion. No matter whether it's as tiny as a, um, how would you say, a, a, a tiny, you know, even smaller than a speck of dust that would go onto the head of a pin. It all counts and show kindness and that hope to nature as well. Don't forget nature. It's something we cannot forget, our planet, because it feeds us, it clothes us, it shelters us. So we have to be kind. We have to have that hope. So do those stepping stones for yourself. And I hope that wasn't too long of a lesson, too long of, of a talk, because I do hear now that people attention span is much, much shorter. But I don't believe that at all. So love you and bless you and thank you. Mm -hmm.